If only dreams would come true. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes our dreams are more a nightmare. And we wake up panicked and scared, our hearts racing. Those dreams we really do not want to be true. But sometimes our dreams are so good. All our favorite things, all our favorite people, that's the kind of dream that we want to come true. Isaiah paints a picture for us of God's dream. A dream wherein there is no violence, no need for lockdown drills, no need for guns, no need for fear. A dream where people live long, healthy lives. No Alzheimer's, no diabetes, no pain. A dream wherein there is enough food. No need for famine that rages entire communities. No need for food pantries or EBT cards because there is plenty. It all seems too good to be true. I mean, it's been thousands and thousands and thousands of years since Isaiah painted this picture. But is it? Is it too good to be true? Take a look at this video. We were always here, family unfolded in layers, when glacial waters held hands with boulder-strewn plains, as rivers receded, spread across continents, eons, nature's timeline, heartbeats and carry on, thousands of years, an archipelago of footprints, clay as soft as cashmere in your palm, willing for anything. We can use this, they said. This earth is strong. And so it was. The chest of soil opened up and buildings came out. Dried, baked, stretched, fired, shipped. Brick by brick, the city went up. Casa Loma, Massey Hall, Cousins Acadia, Edmonton, Moncton, from quarry bed to kiln to horizon line, the family was strong. There were hard times, times when everything dried up, was put down, went wrong. Footprints turned into factories, turned into decades, turned into the sounds of machines operating at all hours, heat, metal, exhaust, until there was nothing left but exhaustion. The quarry was tired of bricks and mortar, of what had for the last 100 years been done. The factory abandoned, rusted roots growing up in place of wild flowers, gravel holding hands with dust, the quietness of alleys draped with armor packaged in a riverbed's ghost. Until the plant spoke up, Our children are dying. There is no room to breathe. Call the farmers, whispered the land. The farmers, they know what you are here for. And so they came. Wheelbarrows, trucks, Mud on the bottom of boots walked back into the rusty spine of what went wrong. Scattered seeds where before there were none. 
Call the scholars, whispered the wind. Let them find the pattern, find out what part of the cycle we are in. Here is where we find ourselves. Here is where we make changes to carry on. 100 years later, we are nursing again. Sprouts, seeds, children. Bring them in, all of them. Those that are fluent and those that cannot yet speak. Crowd the schoolhouse. We are here together for a reason. This is a place of learning. This is a place of knowledge and of peace. It is the circadian rhythm of our own bodies, of our music. It is in everything we do. Rise, fall, inhale, exhale. Rediscover the uncovered possibilities that surround us. A fabric of need a web of solution. Make sense. Renew. Grow on. Believe. I invite you to turn to a neighbor and share where you saw glimpses of Isaiah's dream in that video. Go ahead. Okay. So what did you see? Children making change. What else? Hope, community. community. Fallow ground, weeds. Ah, so you saw weeds and fallow ground, yeah. I like the words, and then, then the plants spoke up. Ah, uh, and then the plants spoke up. Yeah, so somebody was listening to those plants too, huh? Yeah. The circle of life. The circle of life. I saw some art being created out of what was potentially ugly space. So many glimpses of that dream in that video. And I got to thinking about the last line of our scripture story that said, but old Isaiah simply told them it was here when we live in God's way. That's the dream. Other versions of our Bible, because this is the story version that Eliza read, put it this way. Pay close attention now. I'm creating new heavens and a new earth. 
All the earlier troubles, chaos, and pain are things of the past to be forgotten. Or as another version puts it, look, I'm creating a new heaven and a new earth. Past events won't be remembered. They won't come to mind. We are reminded that God is creating. Right now. Right this very minute. Still. Today. And God is not creating a place beyond our knowing, beyond our imaginations. It's a place where God is currently, actively, right now, creating. And it's that vision that Isaiah painted so long ago. And it's not a heavenly vision, something we only can experience when we die. It's here. It's now. And admittedly, this new heaven and this new earth, while being here and now, is not yet complete. Despite all the time that's passed since Isaiah shared that dream. But it's here. Glimpses of it, anyway. So I wonder, we saw a story in Toronto. Where are there glimpses in our community today? We talked with the kids about CCSA. That's one place. Turn and talk to a neighbor again. Where do you see glimpses of this new heaven and new earth being realized today? Go ahead. Okay. Where do you see glimpses? Mama's Kitchen. Yeah. One of the organizations providing food to our HIV AIDS and other sick GLBT folks. Yeah. Where else? Tutoring refugees, yeah. There's a bunch of people working in our community to tutor refugees. Where else? Us? Right here, right now? In this church. Yeah. Where else? Monarch School, a school comprised of children that are unhoused. CCSA. CCSA a neighborhood organization working to provide food and clothing and assistance when needed for those who are in need, yeah. 
Pardon? World Central. World Central Kitchen, a more global organization working to feed people. Yeah. What was that? San Diego River Foundation. What are they doing? They're cleaning up. Yeah, cleaning up the river, getting out of the, rid of the trash that's accumulated over decades down there. Yeah. Bringing beauty back to that part of our community. Stories from island nations going disasters like the hurricane in Florida. Ah, so when people show up all around the nation in the event in the wake of a disaster like the hurricane in Florida, people just mobilize and they go. Yeah. Pardon? Father Joe's. Father Joe's. Yeah, an entire community set to help those who are unhoused and have great need. Anything else? Forest conservation, Forest conservation efforts. Yeah. So people are doing a lot of work to conserve our natural resources and our forests. All of our missionaries. All of our missionaries. Yeah. Our United Church of Christ missionaries that are deployed around the world who are on the ground, doing great work in communities of need. Yeah. Townspeople. Townspeople, another organization working with our folks who are on the margins and unhoused. Yeah. There are so many good examples of those places where God's realm, God's new heaven and new earth, are already being realized here and now. This is exactly the world that Isaiah is describing. And God is not done creating. We get to do our part to bring the dream to reality. We get to do our part and remind others where this dream already is evident. We can point it out. We can help it to appear. We can help it to be realized. So God is still creating. And we still have a part to play. And for all of that, we say thanks be to God. Amen.